here somewhere. I would need water. Maybe, maybe down by the creek. Gotta look around. Gotta be hers. This must be where she comes to get water. Yeah, you come here for water every day, don't you? As you move cautiously, you don't stick around long. Good for you. <sighs> Smart girl. Stay off the street. Only come out at night. Freakers are out, but she'd be harder to see.
This is it. Come on. Just gotta set it here. All right, kid. Where are you hiding? Don't be afraid. Uh, I'm not gonna hurt you. Are you alone? Is there uh, anyone else with you? Oh, man. Okay, uh... Is, is this your room? It's, it's really great. Uh, are, are these yours? No! Uh, that's oh. mine. This one's for gymnastics. I should have won first place, but Missy King, she cheated. Lisa! Lisa, you hear the gunshots outside? It's not safe here. I was now, at we... school. And my mom called me and told me to come home right away and not stop, and they would be here waiting for me, and we would leave together, and... I got here and there was a note that said they left with some men and I didn't know what to do. So, so I hid I, I didn't know what to do. It's all right, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, Lisa, not far from here, there's a camp. And you really ought to let me take you there. Uh, no. There are people there. There are people, I know them. It's, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a work camp. And to eat, you have to work. Life is gonna be hard, no. but at least you ain't gonna starve. No, uh, no my mom's coming here is, for okay, me. Okay, is this your mommy? Well, you said she didn't come home, right? So, maybe she's at the camp. Mom is at the camp? I know she is. Okay. Stay close. The men with the guns. Are they still out there? No, we don't gotta worry about them. Did you? No. Lots of sick people. We should go.
Get on, we have to move. I don't know about this. Come on, kid, we gotta go. Okay, hey, what's your name? Uh, Deacon, my name's Deacon. Uh, Lisa, Lisa, how did you live out here alone for all this time? My dad's a rock hound. He used to take me out here looking for thunder eggs. Thunder eggs, uh, what is that? They're rocks, but when you cut them open, they're really pretty inside. Okay, that, that sounds great. We used to go all over. Belknap Crater, the lava flow and Black Crater, everywhere. Do you think he's at the camp too? Uh, I don't know, kid. Someone's in the tunnel. What? Here, hop off. Listen to me. The gunshots that you heard, those were really bad men. Do you understand? Stay here, find some place to hide. Don't come out until I say so, okay? Okay. I got you. Stupid yeah. Lisa? Kid? Come on out, it's safe.
Won't be needing this. Come on, hop on. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I want to go home. Nah, kid, the camp. You'll be safe there, you'll see. Okay. I'm gonna ask you a question, Lisa, and I need you to think real hard. Did any of your neighbors, did they own any firearms? You know, like, uh, pistols, rifles, things like that? No. Men came and took everything. Men? Were they like the men in the tunnel, or, or did they wear uniforms like, uh, like in the army? Like the army. But they were really dirty, and they carried flags they made themselves. Um, Deschutes County Militia, I think. Have anyone with them? Women? Children? I don't remember. Okay. Tommy would remember. Tommy? Tommy Strickland. My best friend. But he's gone. He left with his dad to hide. Hide? I, I don't... His dad built a fallout shelter and put all kinds of stuff in it. Maps, food, water, guns, you know. Stuff like that. Okay, okay. do you know where that is? No. They wanted me to come with them, but I knew my mom and dad would come back for me. Here. All right, this is it. We're here, Open so just up. stay okay. with me. Okay. Well, who do we have here? This is Tucker. Oh, my God. <laughs> Lisa, honey. Oh, it's okay. You're safe now. Mom and Dad, and everyone got sick, and I didn't know what to do, and men came, and people shh, had shh, shh. chicken. It's okay. You're safe now. It's a miracle. It's a goddamn miracle. We were neighbors, weren't we, Lisa? I lived just down the block. I knew her parents. Are they here, Mrs. Tucker? Honey, you know the answer to that. No. They're not here. Let's go in. Get you cleaned up. Something to eat, and then, then I'll find a place for you to sleep. Take her in. Give her some food. Go see Alki. I'll update your credits tonight. Hey, hey, listen, listen. She's she's been through a lot. Can we just let me worry about easy? how? No, I'm gonna... listen to me, okay? Seriously, don't work here like you do everyone else. Don't tell me how to run my camp. You want to move here? You want to help us run this? Then maybe you get some say. <laughs> don't get soft on me, Dee. Say, uh, Metolius Springs? Metolius Springs. Yeah, yeah, I know where that is. Hey, Boozer, you there? Yeah, Dick. I just caught a break. That Nero radio might actually be useful. I know where they're going tomorrow. Wait, I thought you said you couldn't take them on. No, I can't, but with a little luck, I can get to the chopper without being seen. <laughs> I said, Jack used to say a lot of stupid shit. Deacon out. All right, let's go see what the hell the hero is up to. I'm Ryan. Oh, hey, me again.
Boozer says that I shouldn't come up here anymore. He keeps asking me what goods it do, and, and maybe he's right, I don't know. He got hurt pretty bad the other day. We ran into some rippers who burned the hell out of his arm, and it looks pretty bad. I broke into one of those, uh, uh, what the hell do you call them, the mobile medical units, and I got him sterile bandages. And I hope it's enough, you know, but Boozer, you know, he says he's fine, but I, I, don't, I don't think so. Shit looks pretty bad to me. See, the thing is, it was on me. I risked his life for a bike part. Goddamn bike part. Not that it mattered, the son of a bitch Copeland parted it out anyway. <laughs> Took me a year to put that bike together. You would have liked it. It's not as nice as the one that I taught you to ride on, but it got me around. You remember that tank that you had painted for me? Well, that was the only thing left of that old hog, and now it's gone too. As soon as I get it back together, I, my bike, I mean, and get Boozer patched up, we're gonna ride north. Fresh start. Yeah, a lot of memories around here. Too many. Anyway, I guess I'm just saying that, uh, I might not see you again, you know? How about we make an unscheduled stop on our way back? A couple of sample traps I want to check. Hey, Doc, how long before your job's done? I'm not a doctor. I keep telling you that. Sorry, Lieutenant O'Brien. How long are we going to be here? What does it take, Scarborough? What does it take? I thought I saw something in our approach. I'm going to check it out. Yeah. It's probably nothing. Fresh care. Okay, Doc. Lieutenant. Don't become carrying yourself. Only animals can become carrying, though, if it's not humans. You guys check the perimeter, right? Yeah, it's clear. Well, you poor son of a bitch, at least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, whether that been something. Uh-uh. Uh, do what you want. Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly that uh, if conducting operations in quarantine zones, that if I encounter any civilians or sub... sub Civilians that I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. 
Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. The next it's night, refugee Mural camp. Protocol 2 the seven were states. I, Everyone was dead. Two they were slaughtered, seven. torn limb Nero for goddamn protocol limb. All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell else you're doing out here. The hard way. I crack open that little space suit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So what's it going to be, O'Brien? <laughs> Yes. Okay. Okay. You remember the rooftop of the old brewery. I put a woman on your chopper. She was wounded. Yes. I remember. A, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead. So I'm going to ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... Uh, I, I can't promise anything, but... I'll check. Uh huh. And I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. Hey, don't understand. I'll fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look. If you're gonna fucking kill me, do it. Okay? I did my job. Did that woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen. I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic. She wasn't gonna make it. But I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. O'Brien, <sighs> report. I have to go. Please, I, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Brian, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to track you down. And I'm going to do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. Man, um, a few days ago, I asked you if you remembered that Nero asshole, O'Brien. Uh, yeah, Deke, it's, it's all uh, kind of a blur. Yeah, yeah, okay. Get some shut eye, booze, man. I will tell you about it later. When are we riding out of here, Deke? Oh, <laughs> soon, Boozer, real soon. Look, <clears throat> as soon as your arm heals, we're gonna be riding the hell out of here. <laughs> 